Hello everyone and welcome to Henrico Recreation and Parks December Yoga Series and our celebration of the winter solstice through yoga. Why would we celebrate the winter solstice? The winter solstice and the summer solstice represent two magical times uh, within the northern hemisphere where the um, world is in opposition. And in the winter solstice, it is the longest night of the year and the shortest day. And once we flow through the longest night of the year, we start flowing back towards the light, back towards the longest day of the year in June or the summer solstice and the shortest night. And so then this series or this, uh, tra this travel, this journey starts over again. So when you think of it in terms of duality, the winter solstice dark, the summer solstice light, and we're working towards the dark and the light, the duality of that nature. So it brings in magic. So celebrated in, by many cultures over the course of many years, it's always been considered a magical time. For yogis now in this time period, our yogis are those of us that practice yoga, or who are open to the opportunity to create a clean slate moving into a new year. The winter solstice offers that opportunity for us because it's a time where we can be reflective. The darkness of the long night gives us the opportunity to be introspective and look inward, looking back, and then looking forward into the light. So a good time to clear out the closet and create new intentions moving forward in the new year. So what can you gain from this? Well, 10 ways to celebrate are really easy ways moving forward. It's not just the yoga practice that we can celebrate the um, winter solstice with. Movement is always good. But some of the really, really, really easy things to do, put more lights in your home during the darkest time of the year. Create light, use fairy lights on your mantles. Uh, create those mercury uh, jars with lights inside. Candles, safely. <laughs> so all of those, create light. Uh, look for the time to go outside. Go outside and walk in the briskness of the day, the weather, and just take the time perhaps to watch the sun rise or set. How often do you take the time to do that? We might notice the pretty clouds sometimes, but here when they break through, as we come through the winter solstice and into the light, we start to see those glorious colors in the sky, the pinks and the blues. So take the time to see that. Work on reflection, like I mentioned earlier. Reflect on the direction your life is going to move in or where you'd like to see your life move in. So maybe you take time, maybe you even journal. Oftentimes people will journal. You can journal on what worked for you, what didn't work for you, high points in your life, or just taking notice. And then that gives you the reflection point to start from and move forward. Sleep in. <laughs> take an opportunity to sleep late. Nurture yourself sometimes. You know. Sometimes getting up at whatever time you get up every day, break the habit, sleep in a little later perhaps. So give yourself the luxury of recalibrating. Uh, when you go outside on that nature walk, perhaps you collect pine cones or, or other natural elements and create a mandala for yourself uh, to be able to use as you're doing, going through these reflections. So coming back inside, practicing yin yoga or restorative yoga. We've got opportunities for you here on our uh, Henrico Recreation and Parks YouTube channel of both types of yoga for you to experience. Both types allow us to slow down and find stillness. And when we find stillness, our heart rate drops, we become calmer, we can see more clearly as we move forward. And perhaps a nurturing thing for you would be to have a cozy gathering of your friends that has nothing to do with the holiday themselves in particular, 
but with being together with nurturing people and people that you care about. So give yourself those opportunities. So just a few suggestions on how you can celebrate both looking internally and growing outward, but mostly reflecting in the dark, the opportunity to move from the dark and into the light. So in our practice today, we're going to move, we're going to create movement. Really, sun salutations has been how most um, many, let me say many, times the winter solstice is celebrated. 108 sun salutations. Well, we're not going to do that today. <laughs> but we are going to have a moving practice. And so always know that if you wanted to do a traditional uh, solstice practice, whether it's now, meaning winter, or summer, 108 sun salutations. Um, it takes a pretty long time to do them, by the way. <laughs> so for our practice today, um, Again, I'm Debbie Nolan. I'm Lily Geiger here today, and my accompanist here. And we are so happy that you are going to join us for this practice. So make sure your environment gives yourself a little bit of room to be able to move. We'll be building up a little inner fire and creating that warmth and that heat in the coldness of the winter to move forward into the sun. So if you think about the winter solstice as governed by the moon and coolness, and darkness moving into the light of the sun in the summer and the heat. So we're going to build up a little bit of that fire to dissipate some of that darkness. So yoga mat if you have one, a space you can move in. Uh, maybe you want to watch the video and then come back. Great, no worries. So whatever works for you and we'll begin our practice. You might want to have some water around perhaps. Uh, if you don't have a yoga mat, a beach towel, if you have carpet, great. Um, no blocks necessary. I'll give you some adaptations and so forth that you can use. So as we begin our practice today, we're going to start from a seated position and just collect our thoughts and bring ourselves into how a practice for the winter solstice of the moving from the darkness and for all of the connotations that that has within that word, to move from the darkness into the light. What does that mean for us? So we find our breath, shutting our eyes, closing them halfway, breathing in, breathing out, and just finding the rhythm to our breath. Good, and as we find the rhythm to our breath, Lots of information being shared, so the mind may be busy, and it's human nature for our mind to be busy. We can't really silence it totally, but let's just acknowledge those thoughts and let them slide off to the periphery of our thought processes for the next few moments. And as we breathe in and out, again, just getting in touch with, check for places within our body that need special nurturing and be aware as you move through your practice, you're going to find a lot of sensation in the movements. Sensation is fine, no pain. So let us explore those edges of movement and the journey along them without pain. And that doesn't matter what type of class you're in. We never want to move towards pain ever. So as we breathe in and out, Good, let's slowly open our eyes and start our practice. Good, so two different ways to sit. And we're going to come into child's pose. So we're going to come down. Good, open up. Good, I'm going to turn, Anna's going to turn her head to the uh, front. I am going to uh, face front as well on this one. So we're going to come forward into child's pose. We'll start here. Now, as we move through this practice, we're going to flow from side to side. So this is a gentle flow practice, good, as opposed to now when you think of in terms of the sun salutations, they're, of course, very much more active. But this can be adapted to people in different, uh, wherever you're at in your life, you can find benefit and adaptation in these poses. Good, so as we inhale now, let's look up at our hands and we're gonna to walk towards the right side with our hands and just pause here for a moment. 
starting to wake up the sides of our body. Good, and remember, we're gonna be opposite from you on the screen, and then we're gonna to flow to our left side. So we're flowing with our breath. So at first, we're, the movements are a little longer than the breath, but now let's start to move and inhale to the side, and then move and exhale to the side. So we're just starting to connect the body. And remember, you don't have to be matched to us exactly. By any means, you flow with your breath. Good, so now we're going to start to press the arms around and then lift up a bit on our knees and then flow back down. Good, and as we come to the side again, we just lift up and flow back down. So you're lifting up on your knees. Good, be gentle with your knees. You know uh, your knees. Good, and we flow back down. Good, and this is all about flow is different things to different people. So here you're rising and falling in the leg. So up to your knees, so flowing up. Good, and we come up a little bit higher each time. Good, until you're actually up on your knees, flowing up. Good, and then we flow to a side. So next time when we come to this side, we will pause there. So we flow up, and we come again to the other side. Good, and flow up. Good, now as we flow up, now we're on our knees, the knee version of mountain pose. Let's extend our right leg out to the side. Good, and then breathe up again. Good, flow down to the side, and float the arm in front, and open back up, and float the arm down, and open back up. Good, let's do that again. And open back up. Now touch our shoulder and roll your shoulder towards the rear behind you. Roll your shoulder to the rear behind you. And roll the shoulder back one more time. And we flow back, open. Good, and then flow upright. Good, and as we flow here, we reach over and flow back down and touch. Reach over and flow back down and touch. Reach over and remain. Good, and extend. Push the hip away and reach low. Good, now think about the arm in the air and reach over and look at the hand. Reach over. So think of the sun circling the moon, or rather the earth circling the sun, and think about the hemisphere circles. Good. And we hold, excellent. We float both arms up and flow the hands down again. Now slide the leg in, round your back like a cat, look at your knees. And then inhale, pull your torso forward like you're the figurehead on a ship, pull your tailbone down. And again, round your back like a cat. And pull your torso forward. Good, one more time, round your back like a cat. Pull your torso forward. Now press your hips to the left like you're going to sit down. And press your hips to the right. Again, think big circles. And to the left. And to the right. Now reverse directions. Big circle. Good. And those same circles again from the hands and knees. Excellent. So now let's sweep to the side. Sweep and come up on our knees. And sweep and come up on our knees, and sweep, and come up on our knees, sweep, and come up on our knees, hold here. Good, now let's bring out the opposite leg. So the opposite leg comes out. Good, and that would be our right leg. <laughs> Good. So we were in this direction a moment ago, now we're gonna hold the pose. So slide down, lip, push your hips forward. Good. Parigasana, or gate pose. So here, we're going to open this gate and create that opportunity. So the arms come out, we come open, and we create that opportunity. Now bend that knee and bring the sole of the foot to the mat. So here, let's think about bowing down towards the ankle to create more opening. So let's breathe up. <clears throat> Good, several ways you can do this. Let's reach behind, clasp our hands, lift through your sternum, Push your bottom back and bring your nose down towards your ankle. Lift your arms off your back. Breathing in and breathing out. 
So the possibilities are there. So we know that the last year has passed. So we're letting that go. Good. And then inhale, lift back up. Flow the arms back out and flow them down. Now float that leg down. And again, we're going to circle to the side. So circle and come back up. Circle and come back up. So circle and come back up. Good. Circle and hold. Now the opposite leg comes out. Good. So the leg comes out. So the foot comes down. Good. And then we breathe up. Good. And exhale down to the side. Good. Pausing here. <coughs> Think of the circles in front again. So circle in front and open. The earth going around the sun. So circle and open. So when we close, it's the dark. And when we open, it's the sun. So open the darkness flowing to the light. Flowing and hold. Now we touch our shoulder and roll the shoulder back. Roll your shoulder back. Roll the shoulder back and roll the shoulder back. Let's do that one more time. Roll the shoulder back and hold. Good. Now flow back upright. Good. And flow to the other side. Good. Now the arm in the air, right arm, flow forward and open up. Flow forward and open up. Flow forward. So big circles is what we're thinking about today. Open. Good, and open, let's do one more, and open, good, and reach in two directions. Now hinge towards that side, that just means push this hip out a little bit and reach in that direction. Look up at the hand in the air or down at your foot, whichever one works. Beautiful. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful, both arms come up. Good, and exhale, hands flow down to the mat. And let's bring our knees together again. Good, so remember that cat pose, round your back like a cat, look at your knees, push into the mat. And then inhale, pull forward. Round your back like a cat. And inhale, figure head, drop your tailbone down. Press your hips one way and the other. Good, come back to the center. Now, on this next one, I'm going to turn sideways. Good, so let's bring our right leg forward. Place it at our hand. Slide the back knee back a little bit. Now, press back, lift your front toe. Hands are on the inside of your foot. Good, now come forward and Janiyasana or lunge position. Good, so pressing back. Make sure your foot is in front of your knee just a little bit in the lunge position. So we come forward. Pause. Now you remember that shoulder opening. Take the same hand, bent leg, flow open, hand on your thigh. Look over your shoulder. Good. Let your hip come forward. Good. Excellent. So now let's just roll the shoulder back again and then float the hand down. Now slide your hand to under your heart. Press your hips down, open the other way, put the hand in the small of your back. Good. Excellent. Now, if you wanted to tuck your toe and do these same poses, uh, feel free to do that. Now, head comes back center, hand comes down. Now, make sure you feel centered and lift both arms up. Crescent lunge, hips lifted. Breathing in, reaching for the sunlight. Breathing out. Excellent. Hands flow down, and we slide that leg back. Good. Press back, resting pose, child's pose. Good. Come forward, and just hold in the lunge position. Press back again. Good. So here, we're just creating energy to light the new year. And pressing back. Let's bring that left foot forward when we come forward. So good. And Johnny Asana, pause here. Steady breath. Now press back, lift your front toe. Good. Now let's flow with that. Flow forward. 
and then inhale, flow back. Flow forward, and inhale, flow back. Good, flow forward, hold. Now keep the opposite hand on the floor, and of course that's the bent leg side, was the left side. Keep your right hand on the floor. Place your left hand on the thigh, rotate, look over your shoulder. Again, your back toe can be tucked, knee off the floor if you like. Excellent. Now, hand, left hand, inside or right under your heart. Right hand on the small of your back, rotate, look over your shoulder. Beautiful. Hand comes down, good center out, hand inside, crescent lunge. Lift up. Good. Exhale, the hands flow down, slide the leg back, press back, yay. <laughs> flow forward, good, press back, and flow forward. Now, bring your right foot forward, place the sole of the foot on the mat, then step up, left foot, bring your feet together, forward fold. Good, hands can be on the shin bones. Try not to just dangle, so anchor somewhere. Good. Now think about the spring when the flowers start coming up out of the ground. Pull your tailbone down. Udiyana Banda, lift your abdominals inward and upward and flow upright. Good. Ground up. Excellent. Moving towards the light. So here, we breathe all the way up to the sky. Good. Extending. Maybe we dip back just a little bit. Good. Here, reach up, left hand, right wrist. Tilt to the left. Keep pressing your arms back. Very nice. Come back to the center, arms come down. Breathe back up. Right hand holds left wrist. Tilt the other way. Good. Come back to the center, flow down, back up, other wrist, tilt to the side. Excellent. Come back to the center and flow down. Good. Now right here, hands in the small of your back, like so. You can stay where you are if you like. Good. Hands in the small of your back, roll your shoulders back and down. Lift through the front of your body and tilt back, standing camel. Ustrasana, looking up, hips pressing forward, flow back up. Now slide your hands down behind, interlace your fingers or hold a wrist, yoga mudra. Good, sit back, fold forward, soft knees, lift your arms off your back. Good, maybe your legs straight. Good, bend your knees. Flow back up, dip back, press your knuckles down. Good. Opening to the sun, and then closing to the dark. Good, last time. Good, so we flow back up, dip back. Excellent, release the hands. Good, flow back up to the sky, clasp your right wrist, Press to the left. Good. Come back to the center. Opposite side. Press and pull. Good. Come back to the center. Good. Now arms flow down. Separate your feet just a bit. Now when you go down, everybody's got a different range of motion in your knees. So you're going to press down. Knees not past your toes. Good, so separate your feet further out. So we drop straight down and straight up, straighten your leg. Good, so reach out. Here's a star, stars are at night. Draw in, find the sun. Reach out, star, find the sun. Reach out, star, find the sun. Reach out, star, and hold. Bring your hands together in front. Find your deepest point in this. This is Malasana, or a variation of Garland Pose. Good. 
Now let the hands come down. Bring your toes in, knees in. Good, round your back like a cat. Pull your torso forward. Wag in the rear. <laughs> and to the other side. Beautiful, now let's have a seat. Good, slide the legs forward. Good, now, as we slide our legs forward, good, let's bring out our left leg, right foot comes in. So Janu Sirasana, our head to knee pose. Good, inhale, breathe all the way up. And exhale, hand comes down to the shin bone. Now if your hand easily reaches your foot, great. If not, shin bone, thigh, wherever. Now bring the hand to the inside, palm forward. Other arm reaches up, reach over. If you have the ability to hold your foot, go for it. <laughs> Otherwise, just reach. Good. Hand comes up, goes behind your back. Excellent. Now both arms breathe up. Now turn to your right, look over your shoulder. Push away through the straight leg. Good. Perfect. And we come back in. Let's slide the right leg in. Bend your knee. Hug tight. So how close you have your foot depends on your knee. Now what you don't want is the leg out to the side. So bring the knee straight up. Knee straight up. Hug here. Now the foot can be on the inside. Foot can be here. Foot can be here. Pick the one that works for you. Now let's think about rotation again. This time you're going to rotate again to the right. Left hand holds the knee. Lift up right arm. Comes behind. Rotate to the right. Draw your knee to the left. Perfect. Node comes forward. Good leg comes out and goes to the side. Other leg comes in. Good. So again, shift a little bit. Feel anchored. Breathe all the way up. Hand comes down. Anchor somewhere. Good. Reaching up first. Now reach out for the shoulder. Good. Hand can come behind your back. Looking over that shoulder. Excellent. Now lift up left arm, right hand on the floor. Good. Whoops, that's good. I forgot to lift the arm up and reach. Here we go. Reach, reach, reach. What am I thinking? Or did we do that and I just didn't say it? <laughs> that's all right. Here we are. It got so sunny in here I got distracted. <laughs> yeah, man. Both arms up. Now turn to the right. Look over your shoulder. Push away with that left leg. Good. Beautiful. Now let's come back to the center. Rearrange our legs, so bring that left leg in straight forward. Good. Now, again, the big thing to think about with this rotation here is the foot needs to be in alignment with your knee. So you don't want your knee out to the side. It needs to be upright. Now it can be here or it can be across. Now a little yoga trick. Slide left leg in a little bit and then bring the foot down. Sit up really tall. Don't interlace your fingers because that raises your blood pressure. Hold on with the whole hand. Big inhale, come towards the thigh. Good, then lift up, right, left arm. Good, hand comes to the floor behind you. Now rotate, look over your shoulder. If you can hug that knee, hug that knee. Good. Good, inhale, grow a little bit taller. Exhale, rotate just a little bit more. Yeah, you got it. Excellent. Now, nose to the front. 
Good. Let that leg come down. Let the soles of your feet come together. Good. Now, as the soles of our feet come together, good in Baddha or butterfly. Good. Here, just hold your ankle. Press down with your elbows. Hinge forward. Look out past your feet. Very nice. And then slowing upright, <clears throat> sliding the legs out. Good. And here, go ahead and float to your back and draw your knees to your chest. So as we float all the way back, just draw each knee to your chest. Hug in tight. Little circle again, side to side. Little circle forward back. Good. Exhale and bring your nose up towards your knees. Good. We'll pause. Excellent. Now. Let the feet come down to the mat, knees bent, and arms next to your body. Good. Pause right there for a moment. Very nice. Now, bring the right knee up to your chest and hold on to the side of your ankle with your right hand. Good. So, draw that in towards your chest slightly. Good. And allow that foot to go down. Same thing, other side. Excellent. Just a little release. Perfect. Now bring both feet up in butterfly on your back. Hold your ankle. Draw your feet together and push your elbows away into the knees. Same thing as before, but feels different. Yes. Good. Very nice. And then release. Good. So stretch out. And then our last few moments for our final Shavasana or meditation. So you may choose to want to have your knees bent soles of your feet on the mat, or just stretch out and just let the legs relax if that's the case. So as we've created space to invite in the light, we leave behind, but carry with us forward always our experiences. So for me, moving forward in a new year, it's what has experience taught me during the course of the year. And that's what I reflect upon to move forward with in the coming year. So we all have room to grow and expand and explore. So this practice hopefully will pique that interest for you. So as we're breathing here, our final meditation thought. May we be safe from inner and outer harm. May our hearts be open and loving. May our bodies be healthy and strong. May we walk the path of life in peace, joy, and contentment all of our life. Reach your arms up to the sky, and then cross them right at your chest and hug each shoulder. Give yourself a really big hug. Everywhere your hands touch, give yourself a little pat on the back for a job well done. And then open up wide and switch directions. Just the very act of breathing, being, and being able to hug even our own self is comforting and leads us into the openness of the new year. So now take opportunity to turn to one side or the other. It doesn't matter which, releasing your arms. Use your bottom arm for a pillow. Pause there for a moment. 
and take the opportunity to send a positive thought out, a note of encouragement to the very first person you think of in your mind. Now you think of that person because they really need that note of encouragement to bring them out of the darkness and into the light. When you complete that thought, help yourself back up to seated position. Good, and we'll seal today's practice. But you know, it's sealing a practice doesn't mean that it's final. It means that you've created it, it's become part of you, it's organic, and moving forward into the light. So as we come together, the light that shines within each of us present their songs, this little light of mine, all of our references to light bring us to joy, bring us out of the darkness, and moves us forward. So here, the solstice gives us the opportunity to do just that, to move forward into the light and into the new year. Thank you for letting me lead your practice today. I hope it sparked some opportunities and room for thought for you. Namaste.